What we're going to work on in this video is how to solve literal equations. Now, what a literal, literal equation looks like is something like this where we have no numbers. What we're asking for is, please solve for x. Now, let's look at something that we recognize, something like this over here on the left side. If I were to ask you to do this, the first thing you would do is, well, let me get rid of that 5. So you subtract 5 from both sides. And we get 3x is equal to 17 minus 5. And then just for this example, we're not going to actually do the subtraction. We're now going to divide both sides by the 3. And then I would get x is equal to 17 minus 5 divided by 3. And if you were to sort of finish up this problem, you would get 12 divided by 3 and x is equal to 4. But what we want to do is we want to focus on to what we have over here. So in order to isolate the x, what we did was subtract the 5 and divide by 3, and that's what we have over here. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. What I want to do is I want to isolate this x. So first thing I want to do is subtract the b. So I'm going to subtract the b here. And I'll get ax is equal to c minus b. And then I'm going to divide both sides by a. Now we have to stop here because these are not numbers, these are variables, and we can't actually subtract them. So if I wanted to have a formula that was based on what is x equal to, this is what it would be. Now let's do a few more of these problems. So in this problem here, what I want to do is I want to isolate the a. I want my final answer to look like a is equal to something. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of the C and the D, right? So think of this as reverse PEMDAS. And whenever we do PEMDAS, we do multiplication and then subtraction. When we isolate, we do the opposite first. So in PEMDAS, we do multiplication first before subtraction. When we're isolating, we do subtraction before multiplication. So what I want to do here is I want to get rid of the CD by adding it to both sides. and I get E plus C D is equal to A B, and then I'm gonna divide both sides by B, and then I rewrite it nicely so A is on the left side. Now over here, we, we are starting from the same, um, same equation, but what we want to do here is solve for C. So for this right here, previously we solved for A. Now what we're going to do in this one is to get rid of this AB first. So I'm going to subtract AB from both sides. And I get E minus AB is equal to minus CD. Now what I want to do is I want to get rid of this minus, I want to get rid of this D. Between the C and the D is a multiplication, and the opposite of a multiplication is a divide. So I'm going to divide both of these by minus D. And then I'm going to get C is equal to E minus AB divided by minus D. In this problem, we're going to work on getting rid of divisions. Now over here, you see the division is just connected with the A and the B over here. And you can see over here, the division is um, connected, the A and B are both connected to the C. Now over here, because the C is separate from the A and the B, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of that C first. So we get A over B is equal to uh, D minus C. And then we're gonna get rid of that B by multiplying both sides by B. So now the b's will cancel out and we'll get a is equal to b times d minus c. Now I'm good with that being your answer. Um, some people feel uncomfortable 
um, if they don't distribute it, and that's fine also. Both of them are correct. Now over here, we can't just get rid of this B because the A and B are tied together by this division. So the first thing we want to do on this side over here is get rid of that division. So I'm going to multiply both sides by C. And then what will happen is that this C and this C will cancel. And I'll get A plus B is equal to CD. And then I'm going to subtract B from both sides. And I'll get a is equal to C, D minus B. In these problems, I want to show you the power of multiplying by a reciprocal. Let me show you what the, that means. In this problem here, we want to isolate the B. Now, it's easier to rewrite this as 3A over 2 times B. Now, it doesn't matter whether the A is on the side or on the top. They mean exactly the same thing. Now, I want to get rid of this, and the easiest way to get rid of it is to um, multiply by the reciprocal, which means you flip the denominator and the numerator. And you do that to both sides. Now, if we look at this, that 3a and 3a cancels. This 2 cancels with that um, 2, and we get the b all by itself. So now we get b is equal to 2c divided by 3a, and then we're done. Now in this problem, we're going to attack it the same way. So what we want to do is isolate the h. So it's easier if I rewrite this as 3 times a plus b divided by 2 times h. Now, notice that these are not Siamese twins. This H is not connected to the A plus B, just like it's not connected to the 3 over 2. So we can put a multiplication in between them. And if things are separated by a multiplication, we can move them in any order that we like. So I can move the A plus B next to the 3 over here. Now let me write this just over again, so I have a little more room to uh, write my reciprocal. So we're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. We're just going to flip this right here. 2 over 3a plus b. And we're going to do it to both sides. 2 over 3a plus b. And then we're going to cancel this out, cancel this out, cancel that out, cancel that out. And then we get h is equal to 2a divided by 3a plus b. And I think that's a perfectly fine answer. But some people will feel pressured or nervous, and they'll distribute, and that's a perfectly fine answer also. Now, if this video helped you, please like and subscribe so other people can find it. Thank you.